Good afternoon. It's Thursday, October 21st, 2010. I'm Jill Sealand with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. Today, Foodmarket.com's reporting Tyson Foods Incorporated announced on Wednesday that it is expanding its poultry complex in Wilkesboro, North Carolina, and will be adding 165 new jobs. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, head to Foodmarket.com. Now, let's set the tone. In the egg market, according to the USDA, the volume of eggs broken during the past week was 2% less than the previous week, but 2% greater than the comparable week last year. The total break year to date is 3% greater than last year. Now taking an inside look at Erner Berry's poultry report, here's market reporter James Serpico. Conditions in the chicken market remain rather bleak, with business patterns being less than active across most points of sale. On top of this, offerings continue to be fairly adequate as the increases in production recorded over the past months begin to translate into lengthier supplies. Speaking of production, the broiler hatch report revealed uh, a 6% increase in egg set and a 5% increase in chick placements. These levels continue to be noteworthy as this makes six consecutive weeks of egg sets being at least 5% advanced from last year's figures uh, year to date. Our chart turns to wings and describes how seasonal the price of these items has been. Many in the industry have uh, recently spoken of the lackluster performance of wings, but when comparing the movement from this year to last, each follow a rather similar path, and all things considered, the performance of wings has been quite well um, thus far coming into the football season. Um, that's a quick look at our poultry report. Be sure to see this report in its entirety on Comtel uh, or foodmarket.com. Thanks, James. Talking Turkey, this morning is starting out like many recent ones. Hush trade conditions are prevalent as tight supplies limit the product available to exchange. Since yesterday's close, we have picked up bookings of breast trim and scapula at up money and a little MST at even numbers. Whole wings are extremely snug, breast meat and tenders are short of industry needs. Moving over to red meats, in the boxed beef market, many offering prices for spot market product were sharply advanced overnight. As beef processors adjusted to the significantly higher prices they paid yesterday in the cash cattle markets. The price increases are spread across all primal sections of the carcass. Movement throughout the boneless beef market has been relatively light so far this morning. Undertones for fresh 50s are mixed. Packers continue to tweak asking prices higher. On the other hand, buyers are indicating that more product is showing up at higher price levels. Leaner boneless beef is rated steady to firmer. Trading activity has been fairly quiet to this point throughout the imported beef complex. Undertones are still generally firm. Our listings are unchanged thus far. Looking at pork, abundant offerings of market-ready hogs and slumping wholesale pork prices are weighing on cash hog prices. As a result, direct hog prices are called weak and trade at the terminal market steady to lower. Large slaughters and heavy hog weights continue to pressure the green meat markets. Hams and trimmings are rated barely steady to weaker. Bellies are called mostly flat. Loins and butts remain available. However, quantities and product mix varies by seller. That's your Ernerberry Mid-Morning Tone, brought to you by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. Wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. You can visit them online at epoultry.com.